Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss noise removal using F50. Okay, so basically in communication system, the one of the major problem is uh, the noise. Okay, uh, whether you consider wired communication or wireless communication, there is always a possibility that noise may corrupt our original signal which we have transmitted from our transmitter. Okay, so that to achieve the reliable communication, obviously noise has to be removed and then only a proper message can be received in the receiver side. Right now, there are several algorithms and uh, several filters are present uh, for removing the noise. I am going to discuss one technique in my this video uh, using MATLAB that will remove noise. Okay, that is using FFT. Okay, already in my previous video I have discussed in detail about the FFT and inverse FFT. That is FFT is nothing but one fast way to compute the DFT or discrete Fourier transformation. Right. So uh, let us first directly initialize by taking one signal. Okay, I am taking randomly according to my choice. You can take any signal according to your choice. Okay. So let me first define the time uh, sample. Okay, so let me take 0 to uh, 2 pi and the incrementation let me take 0 0.01. I am taking very small incrementation because I am going to show you the signal in the continuous domain so that I, I already told you that in continuous domain if you want to uh, plot some signal then you should give very small increment and in discrete domain uh, or in, this, in case of discrete signal the uh, increment should be 1. Right. So basically now let me write one signal. I am writing uh, one signal which uh, consists of different frequencies right like sine t plus sine 2t let me take okay now simply if i plot plot t comma x if i write control a eval sorry control a then evaluate selection if i do see here you can get a pure continuous sign signal right so now what we will do uh, we will add noise in it, right? So noise will have uh, for addition on two vectors must have same length. So we will create one noise vector which will consist the same length as our time sample or you can say as our this particular signal. So let me define that noise sample as um, u, okay? So u equal to or a, a noise uh, for n. Okay, so noise equal to rand or randen. You can use rand will generate random number and randen is used to generate uh, random uh, number, which are basically uh, whose distribution is Gaussian distribution, right? Basically, in communication communication system, most of the time we take the noise as aridified Gaussian noise. So for uh, exact uh, practical kind of modeling, you can use randen also. Here I am using rand notion that same result you will get in both the case okay so we have to create the random number array of same length as my time okay so length of my t right so this will create my random number n uh, which is a vector or uh, you can say yeah a vector so that we will, will be added with the x to generate one distorted signal or a noise corrupted signal so we can write x is equal to x plus n all right so if i give here a subplot 2 comma 1 comma 1 and here let me copy this and if i paste it here subplot 2 comma 1 comma 2 you can clearly see that the uh, second signal is noise corrupted see this is our original signal and this signal is noise corrupted all right now what we will do so how we can eliminate this noise this is very important question see the idea is very simple you know that to get the frequency domain representation, we take a 50, right? Because to get the frequency domain representation, we take Fourier transform. Uh, in continuous case, we take continuous time Fourier transform. In discrete case, we take discrete time Fourier transformation, right? Now, obviously, in any signal processing by computer or some machine, we cannot use continuous signals. So obviously, we have to go via discrete time signal processing or discrete 
discrete-time Fourier transformation and discrete-time Fourier transformation you know that it is continuous in the frequency domain whatever response we get but again in MATLAB or in system you cannot get any continuous thing so what we will do we are basically sampling our discrete-time uh, Fourier uh, discrete-time uh, Fourier transformation signal that, that indicates nothing but DFT right because sampling of uh, our discrete time Fourier transformation represent, represents nothing but DFT so what we will do we will take DFT to get our frequency domain representation of our this noise corrupted signal so let me denote that by G okay so my G is FFT of X okay so I am calculating the first Fourier uh, uh, that is frequency domain representation using the FFT algorithm or first Fourier transformation algorithm all right now if you want you can uh, plot this also so plot g so for the uh, time being let me give uh, let me just make this as comment so that it these lines uh, uh, will not be executed now if i want to plot this see what kind of graph um sorry uh, g is equal to sorry plot not g absolute part of g right because you know that after a 50 it, it is a complex signal so to plot we should take the magnitude response so a 50 i am taking see this kind of one magnitude response we are getting for this signal all right now what to do see noise this is basically uh, this particular plot is basically showing us the frequency magnitude response or uh, the frequency domain representation of our this particular noise corrupted signal now the original signal will have high amplitude in the frequency domain obviously and noise has very low amplitude right so so that what we will do we will make all the uh, lower amplitude signals uh, lower amplitude components which is present in the frequency domain as zero that is the idea noise has low, very low amplitude as you know uh, so what we will do we will make all those uh, components uh, who, uh, whose amplitude is below a particular threshold as zero so that threshold i am arbitrarily taking here okay so uh, what i will do I can write like this F is equal to find ABS of G less than 50 let me take okay so what I have done here I am basically finding the index positions using the find command in the absolute plot of the G that is absolute plot of the FFT representation of my noise corrupted signal X which has lesser uh, uh, value than 50 okay so what we will do we will make all those as zero so what we are assuming we are assuming less than 50 amplitude corresponding to noise okay because you know noise is basically have low amplitude so we can write like this in terms of vector representation g of f is equal to zeros then size of um f okay so basically what we will do uh, we have created one zero vector or zero array of size f and we are making all those f index of g uh, as zero right using this command fine now what we will take we will do ifft that is inverse Fourier transformation because we have uh, made the thresholding in the frequency domain now we have to get back our signal in time domain right so uh, now IFFT of G and then if I plot W see what kind of graph we are getting let me uh, make this also comment now if I so only W will be plotted because see all other plot comments I have made as comment okay so control A evaluate selection uh, sorry some error is there uh, find ABS of G invalid expression while calling a function index or variable use parenthesis okay so what is what is the problem uh, sorry ha, here i have given one extra uh, bracket okay so control a evaluate selection see we are getting again our pure original input signal so if you want you can plot in a same window so subplot let me make again from comment to original okay so how many signals we have to plot this is one this is two this is three 
um, and this is 4 okay so 2 comma 2 we can take 2 comma 2 comma 1 and let me copy this for all control C and here control V 2 comma 2 comma 2 here this will be control V 2 comma 2 comma 3 and here it will be control V 2 comma 2 comma 4 okay so this is my uh, title is what title is my original signal and x level is time y level is amplitude and let me copy this and paste it here also this is basically my noise corrupted signal noise corrupted signal and here we are plotting absolute part of g so this is my uh, frequency domain representation or magnitude response let me write e50 simply i am writing okay and then here no need to give x level and y level and here this is our um, Uh, this is our signal after noise removal like this let me write okay x level y level and here if you want here you can write clc clear all close all. control a evaluate selection um three signals we are getting okay so here it will be two comma two comma four all right um now here you can clearly observe that this was our original signal okay this is our noise corrupted signal this is magnitude response of f50 magnitude part of our f50 that is frequency domain representation and we are then we are making threshold okay so which uh, we are making all the uh, values of our uh, magnitude part uh, which are less than 50 all that part we are making as zero and then we are restoring using ia50 so now uh, it is clear that this signal and this signal are same so that we have able to uh, remove we are able to remove the noise but now the question is how i have decided this 50 what is the threshold value below which a uh, noise is there and below, be, below which we have to uh, remove the uh, or we have to make those components as zero how to understand that obviously uh, it is not possible e easily to determine this particular threshold and this threshold has to be adjusted properly otherwise it may happen that you may remove some important part of our message signal also so what we can do in this case we can take average okay so for different threshold values we can take and uh, finally we can take the average of those all the responses and we can get some more accurate result all right so this is the basic idea you should understand the basic idea then you can implement this same thing by your own that is what is the uh, algorithm to remove the noise using f50 that is we are taking our signal to frequency domain then as we know that the noise uh, part has very less amplitude so that what we'll do from the frequency domain representation we are going to remove the uh, or we cannot remove directly what we will do we will make all those index zero which is corresponding to uh, amplitude value lesser than a particular threshold here i have taken uh, 50 but suppose if i take uh, uh, this particular threshold very less then in that case noise will not be completely removed right so basically here if i do evaluate selection what you will find see here although noise is decreased compared to this particular noise corrupted signal but it is not properly removed okay so to exactly uh, get back our original signal from the noise corrupted we have to make the threshold properly it shouldn't be very less if it becomes very less then noise will present in that if it, it should not be very very high if it very very high okay? remove some important part from our original signal so that has to be adjusted by taking average or some better algorithm you can do that okay so this is basic idea how you can remove the noise using f50 all right 
thank you for watching and i am going to post the same code in the description box if you want you can check there and for more videos related to electronics and communication engineering matlab multisim java etc please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you